Welcome Pisces. I'm back y'all with another video. Yes, we're gonna jump into December. Yes, y'all. We have made it to December, honeys. So let's see what's coming towards us for this first week of December. December 1st through the 7th. Let's go. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we get. Because, baby, I'm ready to see. <laughs> I'm ready to see. Let me go ahead and cleanse y'all up. Peace, love, and light to all of you. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go ahead and consider clicking that subscribe button. We would love to have you here with us, okay? Um, Want to let you guys know the sale ends tonight for Black Friday. Head over to the website, guys, www.empressempireoils.com. All that information is in the drop box below. As well, guys, I am running specials on personal readings. So if you are interested in booking a personal reading, guys, let me know. All right. The information to contact me via email is in the drop box as well. Okay. So it's been a while since I put these babies out. Let's see what we get. Let's see what messages we get. This is going to be for the first week. For the first week of December. If you guys hear some noise in the background, it's my dryer. So I apologize for that. I hope it's not too much of an issue. All right, so let's see. December 1st through the 7th. Give me some messages here for my Pisces, okay? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So if you have Pisces anywhere in that area, you can utilize this video, okay? What messages are there for my Pisces? Sun, Moon, and Rising for December 1st through the 7th, please. What messages are there for Pisces, please? Let's see. It has been a while since I've used this this deck in particular. What messages are there? Okay. We got two of air and justice here. All right. And the four of air. And the lovers are okay. And the five of water here. Okay, you. I feel like some of y'all have a decision that you have to make. Okay. Um, there's a decision possibly between two people. Maybe you're feeling like justice wasn't served this week. Or something wasn't right or fair. Justice is also the karma card as well. But with that four of air here, that's the four of swords. So this is kind of like a time to rest and you know think meditate some of you may feel like you aren't, aren't sure about a situation you're gonna have to think about it i'm seeing that as well and it could possibly be like uh, a situation between two people possibly a gemini i'm seeing that as well please give me more give me another message please for pisces Thank you. All right. Two of fire. Lots of tools here. Okay. Two of fire. You've come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward. Okay. So this is the two of wands. This is the plan and prepare card as well too. Then we got the nine of fire here and release. The nine of wands. Don't give up. Protect that which you've created. Having courage and believing in yourself. And then we got release, okay? Some of you plan on, I feel like there's something worrying you. There's something that you need to let go of or release, okay? But I just feel like you're uncertain about it. Like, you, you, you're you, thinking about it. You know, it's on your mind. It could be a fire sign that you are considering releasing and letting go, okay? The end of a phase or situation, um, time to move on. Okay, so some of you may be contemplating on or planning on um, closing a chapter, possibly with a fire sign. There's lots of fire here as well, too. Give me one more card for Pisces. Thank you. All right, so we got the King of Earth. Um, 
This is a successful time. Confidently accept opportunities you, you're offered. The Midas touch. Okay, look at this. Page of Earth. So, and the Empress. So, a lot of you guys are going to be getting talks about money. Some of y'all, there's going to be a conversation about money. It may be like... Yeah, this is good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging, a new area of study. So, yeah. I'm getting like there's talks, okay, about money coming up as well, too. Okay, so it looks like you're undecided. You may be indecisive about a person or a situation. I feel like you're indecisive about a person. Could be a fire sign, could be an earth sign, could be an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. But I feel like you are uh, planning something. Like you're preparing, you're prepared, or you're preparing yourself. But I feel like you're going to take some time to think. I feel like you're contemplating this week on releasing a situation or someone. Okay, two of air. Why is two of air here? Judgment. See, this is the a final decision. Okay, and I'm telling you, Ten of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the King of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so like I said, you're uncertain. Okay, you're at a fork in a row on a final decision. You want to cut this fire sign off. For some of you, it's a fire sign. Okay. King of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and it could just be like a missed opportunity or there's talks about finances or something to this nature. Like, I just feel like you guys are doing a big, a big cutoff and you're, you're coming to, you know, I feel like this is something that you don't really, a decision that you don't really want to make, but you feel like it might be time to make this decision. Okay. Why is judgment here? Yeah. See, you wanted something new. You want some fresh new energy. For, this is that fire energy. You want a new spark. Some of you are going on new uh, business ventures. But this is definitely like a new beginning, a new start. And see, you're wanting to move forward, okay? You're trying to move forward. It looks like you're reviewing your past as well. This could be someone from your past, all right? But I'm, I'm getting like you wanted something new, okay? You've moved forward. You're trying to move forward. And I'm seeing you being very cautious about what you say or how you say it. I feel like you don't want to hurt this person's feelings, but you're ready to move forward, okay? You're like, you're, you're ready to move forward. It's either you want more or you're, you're, you're over it. Like, I'm just getting like so over it. I'm so over it. I want something new. Look at this, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and see, this person, it's the same person. Yeah, you're done. You're done. You're fed up with something. Because we got you, got your energy as the Five of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's out. Like, I feel like when it comes to money or an opportunity or something, like this person gives you this type of energy. Five of Cups energy. Like, you know... Crying over spilled milk, worry, and all that type of energy. And I'm getting, like, for some of you, is from a fire sign, you know. And I really don't want it to be too particular, but we got the king of wands, queen of wands, the ace of wands, two of wands. But whatever it is, I feel like you're done. You're wrapping this chopped up, ten of swords in the world. Like, mm -mm. something about it, just you're not vibing with it. Yeah, see, didn't I tell you, you're walking away. It's like, I'm hearing like, I'm this close to walking away. Nine of Wands and the Page of Wands, Three of Swords. And I'm getting like, the, this person may apologize to you. Or you 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 kind of like, you know, expecting for this person to apologize to you. Somebody doesn't have it. Somebody doesn't have, somebody here is struggling themselves. Four of Cups and the Five of Pentacles is definitely someone very disappointed because they let someone down or this is like I'm getting like somebody apologizing because they got left out left out in the cold. And I'm getting a lot of complaining energy like 
I'm getting lots of complaining energy. Now I got the Knight of Wands and the Empress. This could definitely be like someone that's on the side. That's a fling. I'm just putting that out there as well. Somebody is extremely obsessed, possessive. Like somebody here is obsessed, okay? Always sending these little messages. Um, telling you how they feel. I feel like you got this person wrapped around your finger, Pisces. But I'm just getting like... You're to the point where you're like, I'm out. If I don't get what I want, I'm out. Okay, so why do we have two of fire here? Page of Pentacles again. And the sun. Okay. Finn, I feel like you planned on getting some good news about money. Maybe someone is supposed to give you something. Okay, with the Six of Pentacles. Okay, why is the sun? You could be dealing with the Leo as well, too. Okay, so you're waiting to hear some good news about money. Okay. Yeah, some of you are waiting for this person to ask you if you need something. Or I'm just getting that. Like, you may feel like this person has been hiding. Like, popping. They, they go ghost and then they just pop back in your life. Like, pop back up and then ask you, oh, how you doing? What you got going on? And I feel like you're not feeling that. Yeah, you're not feeling that. Like, but I'm getting like, there's a message coming through. And I'm hearing someone say, how are you? How are you doing? And you're like, I'm just fine. <laughs> I'm just fine. You, you, I feel like you're planning. Um, I feel like with the two of fire, this is definitely coming into your own um, and then continuing to move forward. So I feel like regardless, regardless of how this goes, um, if this person owes you or something to that nature, I feel like you're good. Like, I don't feel like you're, you're going to struggle anywhere. I just feel like you're just fed up with somebody's sad top stories and you're over it. <laughs> you're over it. King of Earth. This is Virgo Taurus Capricorn. See, look, you feel burnt out or somebody is saying that they, they, they're exhausted. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting wish I had more. The two of wands. And the king of pentacles and the five pentacles. But someone here doesn't. They don't really have it. Okay. They don't really have it. And I feel like you think this person isn't being honest with you. I don't think you think this person is being honest. Um, but I'm getting that someone here financial, is financially exhausted. Okay, why is the Ten of Wands here? Somebody overspun. Okay, why is the Ten of Wands? So make sure you guys are on top of your spending game. Because this could be you or somebody around you. Like somebody here definitely overspent. overspent. The Ace of Swords. Okay. It's like this. someone here is afraid to tell you that they don't have something. And I'm getting that it's a fire sign. Let me tell you. And I know it's not a fire sign for everybody. But it just keeps popping out. And for some of you, this is a third party. But this person is carrying around this Five of Cups energy. Like they're crying and complaining over spilled milk. King of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Aries. I don't feel like you... I, I don't feel like you want to hear this from this person. The Ten of Swords energy... Like, you may feel betrayed, staffed in the back, and you just may not want to communicate with this person. Ten of Swords and the Page of Swords. Like, you may cut off communication with this person, Knight of Cups. And I feel like this person may be kind of, like, nervous to tell you that they just don't have them. They don't have it right now. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Yep. Four of Cups. This is disappointment and justice. Like, it's not fair. And see, there's that King of Pentacles again and that Five of Pentacles. So somebody's short financially. And I feel like it's pissing you off. It's, I feel like you're pretty pissed about it. Okay? 
I feel like you're going to cut this person off on communication. And whatever else you do for this person, like you don't, you don't, you don't, you know, you don't feel like it's an even exchange. And I'm hearing as well, don't bring your ass, don't bring your ass back around here until you get your shit together. <laughs> And I'm definitely getting, I'm telling you, I'm getting Sagittarius vibes. So it looks like <laughs> y'all got a decision y'all have to make, Pisces, on what move you're going to make, like, when it comes to the situation and this person. What does this person want to say to Pisces? so much love for you okay so this person cares a lot about you i'm in a dark place spirit is sending me light but this person is really in a dark space and i feel like we got will you wait for me okay so they i feel like they there's something that they're trying they need to get themselves together you know like i don't think they have their, their stuff together right now i'm affected by cosmic and collective energies and i'm so sorry for lying to you i know what i need to do I want this to work. Like, this person cares, but for you, Pisces, you're like, uh-uh, this is not enough. <laughs> That's not enough. Like, um, we can't keep mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, going on with that. Going on with that. We don't need that round here type of energy. <laughs> y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below, y'all, all right? I'm going to chat with y'all later. I'll see y'all next week. Ciao for now.